For example, I know that the developers would be only requiring the excess of S3 and EC2. So I'll be giving the allowance of EC2 and S3 at the organizational SCB. So here at this OU, I will say into this SCB that okay, EC2 and S3 are being allowed, full excess of EC2 and S3. But these are just the filters, okay. If you have SCP and if you do not attach any identity based permission to your users inside of that account, then user would not have any permission by default. So identity based policies are a compulsion. You have to attach those to your users, right? So here you can see that we have the organizational SCP which is allowing EC2 and S3, identity based policies allowing EC2 and IAM. But at the organization level itself, I have filtered out that only EC2 and S3 are being allowed. IAM is never mentioned at the SCP level. Correct. So what will happen over here? Even if IAM is being given the permission identity based policy, it will not be allowed because it is already filtered out at the higher hierarchy. So the intersection of the organization's SCP and the identity based policy would be the final permissions that would be given to a user. Right? So over here you can see that intersection is about EC2. Identity based policy is also uh, allowing EC2. SCP is also allowing EC2. So that's why we have the EC2 allowance. Right? So this is what happens when we have the SCPs applied. Now let us say that on the organizational SCP, I am also allowing RDS. But it is not being allowed here on identity based policy. So RDS will also be not the part of the final allowance because it is not intersecting between both. Right. So this is all about the IAM policies and uh, how we can apply the IAM policies and SCPs together and what are AWS organizations. Right. So just for a quick overview, in this particular module, we have talked about security right so we have talked about a service called IAM that is identity and access management under which we have understood that what are IAM users what are groups and what are roles right then we have explored about policies so we understood about two major policies which grant the permission to the user that is identity based policy and we have talked about resource based policy correct the last thing that we discussed is AWS organizations. So this AWS organizations is uh, one of the service which is being provided by AWS for managing multiple accounts. Okay. And we can apply the service control policies that is SCP at the organizational units so that we don't have to repeatedly assign the policies uh, to the OUs, right? So this would be helping us in filtering out the permissions at the organizational unit level. So this is all for this particular module. We have covered our module 2 successfully. Module 3 will be talking about networking, which is again a very important module. Thank you.